I have to either get a stick or get another kind of shoe for that leg recreation tonight in Jesus' name. Number three, the wonder of healing. The wonder of healing. Whatever may be the challenge in your life tonight, the wonder of healing has come unto you. The wonder, the wonder of transformation. Transformation that the Lord, anything that is upside down in your life, the Lord will put it the right side up. If something happens in your on your head that instead of walking like we are like everybody is walking you put your head down you put your feet up and you think that is the right thing because there's something wrong in the head tonight transformation in your life it will take you up gently it will put you the right side up head will be normal Heart will be normal. Speech will be normal. And then you will walk like a lady. Lady. Beautiful lady. Like a gentleman. Because there is the wonder of transformation tonight. It, there's the wonder of restoration. Somebody had had the peace of God before. You had the joy of salvation before. Everything was so right. You were reading the Bible, enjoying the Bible, having fellowship with God until you began to look another direction. Now, things are no longer the same. You are not like you used to be. And the peace of God is no more there. The joy of the Lord is no more there. And you're crying, if I could get back to the good old days tonight, that wonder has come. The wonder of restoration. Or maybe you add something, a spirit binding you. That you don't know where to look again. Did you hear the testimony of that? Uh, you know, lady, woman from Edo State, warm on, warm all over. Everywhere. She was scratched. And you saw the way she was demonstrating until the hand, the power of God touched her and all those things came out of her. The power of the Lord will touch you tonight. When God created you, he didn't create you for Satan to torment your life. He didn't create you for sickness to make you suffer. And how did those things come? Because an enemy has done this. But tonight, I say tonight, the wonder of deliverance in your life. Tonight, the wonder of translation. That the Lord will translate you from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son. Actually, tonight, there's going to be the wonder of resurrection. Anything that is dead in your life. Or if you yourself, you are dead and you cannot hear anything now at the mention of the name of Jesus, the wonder of resurrection will come to you. Hey, look at our man. Look at our man here. He leaping up stood. And he watched and entered with them into the temple, walking, leaping, and praising God. Look at verse 9. In verse 9, and the people saw him walking and praising God. They saw the wonder of God upon his life. Well, we'll see the wonder upon your life. Online. Stay there, don't go anywhere, because the wonder of the Lord is coming upon your life tonight. You know, we've been talking about what God has been doing. He did it in the acts of the apostles. Now, we are not maybe theological students here. Let me tell you something. You'll check up maybe later. At the end of Matthew, there is Amen. At the end of Mark, 
chapter 16, there is amen final. At the end of Luke, there is amen final. At the end of John, there is amen. At the end of the Acts of the Apostles, there's no full stop with amen. It means that when you read the last chapter of the Acts of Apostles, they didn't seal it up and say, Amen, final. It continues. Another chapter of the Acts of the Apostles is going to be written tonight. Yeah. What's your name? What's you in the picture? Because it continues, it continues, it continues, and now it has come to your turn. As we went about all these uh, crusades, God, I've been mean, doing marvelous things. There's uh, somebody in Uyo, that's South South, Nigeria here. I reach by name. Miraculously healed of terrible, terrible illness that caused her to be vomiting blood and even pores coming out of her mouth. Uh, let her tell the story to you by herself. And as you listen to that, wonder, greater wonders will happen in your life. My name is Aret Nusia. I had four problems in my life. But I thank God for the GCK at uh, Taraba State. I had stroke. I had uh, diabetes. I went to the hospital and uh, to remove my teeth. And during the operation, the instrument gave me some wound in the mouth. Then, since then, I've been having odor from my mouth, uh, scooper coming from my mouth, and blood coming from my nose. I used to use handkerchief to cover myself. Anybody sitting beside me will hear the order. So I used to run away from people. By the grace of God, during the GCK at Taraba State, the Lord healed me through the prayer of Pastor W.F. Kumi. As he prayed and said that everybody should put their hands where they are having problems, and I put my hand there, and he mentioned my problem particularly, that the, uh, the issue of blood. So I put my hand in my mouth, and the whole thing went away. Diabetes, Diabetes gone, uh, stroke gone, and uh, uh, the blood issue gone. I thank God for this uh, global crusade. I thank God for Pastor W.F. Kumi. Praise the Lord! The wonder happened to her. Who is the next on the line? Amen. The Lord confirm it in Jesus' name. Here, here. The wonders have not stopped. You've seen the first one. You're going to see the second one. And then I will see the third one in your life there. Number two, we have this woman named Atim, also from Uyo. And she was healed of 40 years problem like the man we are reading about the man had had the problem for 40 years she too she had the problem 40 years don't let me um, you know talk too long let her tell you her own story for over 40 years I've been in severe serious pain because of fire and ulcer I lost my husband nobody to care for me whenever i want to stew i find it difficult the pains will be very serious that time my anus will be paining me when i stew it comes out with blood and nobody to tell me sorry when that pains come like that i've been to many hospitals Doctor, when they examined me, they say, my own case, I can manage it. I heard of Global Crusade from Baba Kumuji, and I say, God, 
you, you must not pass me this time. God, you must do something. And after the ministration of Abakumuji, it just be a seat. When the man say we should raise up our one hand up and lay the other one on where the thing is paining us, I, 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 I raise my hand up and I use this hand to do like this. Because the pain is always from the tears down all over my stomach. My stomach will be hurting me, making all kinds of noise. But after the last amen, just be as if something fell from out of me, out of me, I become very light. All those things, doctors say I should not eat. I begin to eat them. Those toilets that have been difficult. Say. Praise the Lord. Forty years problem rolled away. Your time has come. I want you to get to your time of wonder quick, quick, quick today. So I will talk other things another time. Next global. Confirmation. The confirmation of liberation through the word. Through the word. Through what? The word. Look at Peter and John standing there. They didn't have any other sin. They didn't pour palm oil on them, olive oil on them. They didn't pour Jordan water on them, Jerusalem water on them. The word. Look at verse 6 again. As Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. Give I unto thee. It's the word in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. He sent his word and he saved them. He sent his word and he healed them. He sent his word and delivered them. Look at Jeremiah chapter 1. Verse 12. Jeremiah 1, verse 12. Then said the Lord unto me. Then said the Lord unto me. The Lord is saying something to you now. Let me hear you. For I will hasten my word to perform it. Tonight, the Lord will hasten his word, the word of salvation you'll be saved tonight. The word of forgiveness you'll be forgiven tonight. The word of transformation, recreation you'll be recreated and transformed tonight in Jesus' name. And the word of healing, healing has come to you. The word of deliverance, deliverance has come to you. And the word of the mighty, unforgettable miracle, it, it has come to you tonight. It's bowed and eyes closed. This is the time. 
for the word to be fulfilled and performed in your life. All it takes is for you to indicate and say, Lord, I am here. I need salvation. I need restoration. I need forgiveness. I need recreation. The Lord will do it. You want forgiveness tonight? Wherever you are, raise up your hand there. Your time of forgiveness, of freedom, of salvation, of restoration has now come. Raise up that hand. The peace of God will settle in your heart as we're praying now. The joy of salvation will take hold of you as we're praying now. Raise up the hand. If you are raising up your hand for the forgiveness, for the salvation, for the peace of mind, for the joy of believing, you stand up wherever you are here, to my right, to my left, at the back, at the center, in front. You want the salvation of the Lord, the forgiveness right now, the recreation of the Lord. Just raise up your hand and stand up. Over the radio, the same thing. On the television, the same thing. In every locality, every country, every community, the same thing. Anywhere you are and you are connected and you want this pardon, this conversion, this change of life, this change of heart, this salvation, this transformation, raise up their hands and stand up. As you are standing up, tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you for the wonder of salvation. And I know it's immediate, it's right now, as I trust you, as I believe in you, as I put my faith, my confidence in you, I know my sins are forgiven now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I have salvation. I have forgiveness. I have the joy of salvation. I have the peace of God in my heart. I know you are recreating me now. Thank you, Lord. I'm praying for you now. Keep on standing. And keep that hand up, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We well, thank you for what you have done. You have said, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I pray that word will be fulfilled in their hearts right now. Save them. Forgive them. Change their lives. Do a work of restoration and recreation and transformation in every life. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name I pray. It is done. I said, it is done. The wonder of salvation. I call on our moderating pastor tonight to lead us. This time of um, counseling, counselors, thank you. God bless you. Let's do a good job and interact with those who have just given their lives to the Lord. And we we'll do that briefly. I'll come back because tonight is the night of the wonder of your miracle. Counselor, let's move around. Get their details. As you have experienced wonders of salvation, we welcome you into God's own kingdom. You have started the journey right today. And I know that the grace of God will be sufficient for you as you travel along with the Savior you will continue with him. Counselor, let's do quick. Get their details, their names, their address, 
the phone number, make sure that they are legible. We can, you can read them clearly. And please those that have decided for the Lord who have experienced wonders of salvation, wonders of recreation, give correct details. You don't tell lie anymore. You don't do anything that God will not be happy with. You do things in the right way and you will see God keeping you till you see him face to face. Let's quickly do that, counselors. We appreciate what you have been doing. Let's get their details. It's a new birth experience. It's a wonderful experience. That you have come to the Lord. Heavens are rejoicing. Angels are rejoicing over you. And the convener of GCK, our Father in the Lord, has welcomed you greatly into, his, into the kingdom of God. What a great decision you have taken. Counselor, let's quickly do that. Let's make sure that we capture everybody. Those that have given their life to Christ, capture everyone. At the far back, let all our counselors do a good job, which you have been doing. Wonders of salvation is what you have experienced tonight. And as our counselors are reaching out to those who have decided for the Lord, this is the time. The rest of us, we should be praying to experience wonders of healing, wonders of God's divine touch in our lives today. You will not live here as you can. God is going to touch you in a special way. Keep on praying. Talking to God that, Lord, I'm here for you tonight. And I will not go back home the same. Counselors, let's take their details. Supervisors. By my left hand side, if you are done, can I see your hand up? My right hand side. 
Please, let's do that quickly. We're waiting for the man of God who is going to pray for us tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now it is time for your miracle. You rise up. It's time for you to receive the touch of God. It's time for you to be healed. It's time for you to be delivered. And I'll invite the man of God, convener GCK, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi, who will declare extra for us tonight. Praise the Lord. You are welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. My turn. Wonders. Wonder of healing. Who is the person to receive that? And the wonder of miracle. Wonder of deliverance. You are the next online. Anywhere you are, over here at the Alpha location, radio, you are listening, television, you are watching, online, anywhere. You are with a congregation. Get ready now. Tonight is going to be a night of multiple wonders. Raise up one hand. Let the other hand where you have the challenge, the problem, the sickness. And as we pray, you see how that happened there? Peter said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Then he stretched forth the right hand, lifted him up. And the man received strength. In his ankles. And 40 year problem, paralysis, was taken away instantaneously. Amen. It's coming your way. Amen. Raise up that hand. Lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. the name above every name, the name that has power. The name that has authority on earth and in heaven. Lord, we come on behalf of everyone. And I speak your word of power and authority. And I say, be healed in Jesus' name. Whatever the pain is, whatever the sickness is called, the hand of the Lord touch you right now. Yeah. Be healed in Jesus' name. Long-standing problem, long-standing mountain, long-standing affliction, in the name of the Lord, by the power of the Lord, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, be delivered in Jesus' name. To my right, to my left, in my front, online, everywhere, Whatever miracle you need, receive now in Jesus' name. Your blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. The pandemic begin to hear, begin to speak in Jesus' name. Swelling any part of the body, goiter, hunchback, elephantiasis, and ear, fibroid. Be taken away in Jesus' name. Amen. Cancer, tuberculosis, ulcer, kidney problem, liver problem. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Insanity, madness, affliction of Satan. 
be removed in Jesus' name. That spirit of suicide, come out in Jesus' name. I'll be healed in Jesus' name. That is your blood, dry up in Jesus' name. It shall be AIDS, be healed in Jesus' name. Any problem in your body, anything walking about there, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. And any part of your body that is dead, not functioning, I pray that life will come there right now. Lord, I pray for everyone. Nobody, no one missing their wonder, their miracle, their healing, their deliverance at this time. God of wonders, perform it in every life. Do it in every life. Put a smile on every face. Testimony in every mouth. Joy of heaven's visitation on every life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name I pray. You have got it. You have got it. You have got it. Check up yourself. You'll be the next one to give testimony. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us into your presence this evening to learn at your feet. Lord, we pray as we worship you, you inhabit our praises this evening in Jesus' name. Be glorified, O God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercies endure forever. Amen. For his mercies endureth forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercies endureth forever. Amen. For his mercies endureth forever. Amen. Sing, amen. Rejoice, amen. Glory be to God. Amen, amen. Let us sing, amen. And rejoice, amen. Glory be to God, amen, amen. Rejoice, amen. Glory be to God, amen. Let us sing, amen. Rejoice, amen. Glory. God. Amen. Amen. Alas, indeed, my Savior bleed, and did my sovereign die. Would he devote that sacred head for such a warm as I at the cross. Where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by 
faith. I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day at the cross. Oh yes, of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light. Rode away. E soul shall find rest beyond the river in the cross in the cross be my glory ever till my rock the cross in the cross in my glory ever till my rapture shall find rest beyond the river the way of the cross leads home the way of the cross leads home. It is sweet to know as I onward go. The way of the cross leads home, leads home. Lead on to know as I onward go the way of the cross. Lead on the way of the cross. Lead on the way of the cross. Lead on. It is sweet to know. As I onward go, the way of the cross leads home, leads home. Leads I have chosen the way, I have chosen the way, I have chosen the way, the way of Calvary. Have you chosen the way? I have chosen the way. Have you chosen the way, the way of Calvary? Are you in that number? Are you in that number? Are you in that number? Are you saved by His grace? 
Are you in that number? Are you in that number? Are you in that number? Are you saved by grace? I am in that number. I am in that number. I am in that number. I'm saved by his grace. I am in that number. I am in that number, the number of the redeemed, saved by his grace. Are you in that number? Are you in that number? Are you in that number, saved by his grace? Are you in that number? Are you in that number? Are you in that number, saved by his grace? I am in that number, I'm saved by his grace. I am in that number, I am in that number, I am in that number. Saved by His grace, I'm a new creation, I'm a brand new man, old things have passed away, I'm born again, more than a conqueror, that's who I am, I'm a new creation, I'm a brand new man, I'm a brand new man. Amen. We are welcome to today's Bible study in Jesus' name. It's a pleasure to welcome everyone and to welcome those who are fellowshipping with us for the first time so that we can bring the greetings of our general superintendent. So if you are here, you are fellowshipping with us for the first time, you are a convert from the Global Crusade or you have been invited, we'd like to bring to you our general, if you heaven came down. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget after I'd wandered in darkness away. Jesus, my Savior, I met. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend. He met the need of my heart. Shadows the spelling with joy, I am telling. He made all the darkness depart. Born of the Spirit with life from above into God's family divine. Justified fully through Calvary's law. Oh, what a standing is mine. And the transaction so quickly was made when as a sinner I came, took of the offer of grace he did proffer, he saved me. Oh, praise his dear name. Now I have a hope that will surely endure after the passing of time. I have a future in heaven for sure, there in those mansions sublime. And it's because of that wonderful day when at the cross I believed, riches eternal and blessings supana from his precious hand I received. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul when at the cross the Savior made me whole. My sins were washed away and my night was turned to day. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul.
Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we're asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We're asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. Genesis chapter 37. Genesis chapter 37. And Jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger, in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren, and the lad was with the sons of Bilhah and with the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Hear, I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright. And behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheaf. And his brethren said to him, Shalt thou indeed reign over us, or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told it his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren, and his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee, to the earth? And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the saying. And his brethren went to feed their father's flock in Shechem. And Israel said unto Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed the flock in Shechem? Come and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, Here am I. And he said to him, Go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brethren, and well with the flocks, and bring me word again. So he sent him out of the vale of Hebron, and he came to Shechem. And a certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I seek my brethren, tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They are departed hence, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brethren and found them in Dothan. And when they saw him afar off, 
even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him, and cast him into some pit. And we will say, Some evil beast hath devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands, and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hand upon him, that he might rid him out of their hands, to deliver him to his father again. And it came to pass, when Joseph was come unto his brethren, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him, and they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty, there was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked, and behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Gilead with their camels, bearing spicery and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Egypt. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come, and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother and our flesh. And his brethren were content. Then there passed by Midianites merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver, and they brought Joseph into Egypt. And Reuben returned unto the pit, and behold, Joseph was not in the pit, and he rent his clothes. And he returned unto his brethren and said, The child is not, and I, whither shall I go? And they took Joseph's coat, and killed a kid of the goats, and dipped the coat in the blood. And they sent the coat of many colors, and they brought it to their father, and said, This have we found. Know now whether it be thy son's coat or no. And he knew it, and said, It is my son's coat. An evil beast hath devoured him. Joseph is without doubt rent in pieces. And Jacob rent his clothes, and put sackcloth upon his loins, and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. And he said, For I will go down into the grave unto my son mourning. Thus his father wept for him. And the Midianites sold him into Egypt unto Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's and captain of the guard. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you are blanched in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.